Hello, welcome to It's Your Case, brought to you by VetCT.com. I'm Lucy Meehan and I'm your radiologist on demand for this week. Today we've got a slightly unusual case. We've got a 23-year-old Shetland gelding who has been colicking for 24 hours. Once you've reviewed the radiographs using your systematic approach, you're ready to watch the video. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight the most important findings on these abdominal radiographs for this horse. Just a side note, um, it's not very frequently that we x-ray the uh, abdomen of horses. Certainly it's not possible with a lot of the portable machines that we have in equine practice. Um, these have been generated by a more powerful hospital-based machine. And certainly we are limited to smaller horses, uh, thinner horses to be able to do this. First of all, I want to bring your attention to the fact we can actually see most of the radiographic opacities that we talk about on these um, x-rays. So we talk about the five opacities being gas, fat, soft tissue, bone and mineral. Now we can see some gas up here. Um, we can see some gas pockets. We've got a little bit of gas in the lungs as well. Down here, ventral to the sternum, we've got some uh, fat. We've got some fairly diffuse soft tissue up here at the dorsal aspect uh, of the abdomen bone and then we've got this large mineral um, accumulation ventrally which is what I want to talk about. So if we take a closer look at the um, mid-abdomen view you can see that we've got a um, well-defined uh, outline of the ventral colon here and you can see the house tree of the ventral colon as well. Um, nicely delineated here. We've got a fairly level um, line at the top here, but you've also got superimposed on this another structure that's also filled with similar mineralized material behind um, the first one. So we've probably got both ventral colons that are filled with mineralized material here. If we then um, look at the more caudal radiograph which I'll just put up on the left of the screen you can see that this extends quite far um, caudally and you can see the nice outline of the haustra here right up towards this is actually the patella so it's towards the stifle you can see the um, more caudal structure that sort of has a blind ending um, appearance and then we've got a little bit of an accumulation here as well so we've got a fairly marked um, accumulation of mineralized material in the ventral aspect of the abdomen. I think, as I've said, these two um, these two structures represent both sides of the ventral colon. And remember, one will be quite a lot further away from the radiographic plate than the other, so there will be a degree of magnification. Um, so these are the left and the right ventral colons. Um, you can see that the accumulation is quite extensive. We struggle to measure it because it's on a number of different um, views. However, we felt that it was probably about 55 to 60 centimetres in length and at maximum height, we thought it was about 15 centimetres in height. And, and there is quite a lot of accumulation around this area, which we think is probably the pelvic flexure. It's a bit difficult to be sure, um, but it's probably in the region of the pelvic flexure. There are some smaller mineral accumulations just here, 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 and they're probably um, within either the dorsal colon or within the small intestine, but I'm less concerned about that. Um, so this is a fairly straightforward diagnosis. This horse has a sand impaction of the ventral colons, um, and it um, is probably the cause for colic. You can get small volumes of sand in the ventral colon and it not cause problems, but certainly when it's as extensive as this, I suspect that uh, this will be causing the problem in this horse. How else could we image the abdomen in horses we're not able to x-ray? Well, actually an ultrasound examination is quite useful and sometimes you can see sort of gritty material swirling in the ventral colons uh, when you have the ultrasound probe on ventral midline. Um, sometimes that's actually quite difficult in ponies because they have quite thick skin, quite long hair coats, and they have quite a thick layer of oil often on their skin um, to protect them from the elements and it can be more difficult to ultrasound these horses. I have popped a paper on the report as well for further reading. It's actually an open access paper, so everyone should be able to access that if you're interested in how we grade these radiographically. So be sure to review the full report associated with the case. Thank you for listening, and do remember it is your case, so please post any questions you may have on social media. Thank you.